Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining us today for our virtual college visit series. Today, we have Johnson and Wales University with us, and their representative, Marisa Marcy, is here today to tell us all about their wonderful programs and what they have to offer at their university. So I'm going to hand this over to her to go ahead and take over the presentation. Thank you so much for joining us today. Oh, thank you, Ms. Corbin, and hello, everybody in Hanover County. As Ms. Corbin said, my name is Marisa Marcy, and I'm so excited to share the Johnson & Wales story with you. Johnson & Wales is a very different university in so many ways, so I'm going to do a brief presentation. I'm going to turn my uh, camera off just for now so um, you can see the full screen, uh, but then I'll pop back on at the end, and I'll share my contact info so you can follow up with me with any questions you have. So Johnson & Wales, we start with creating a life you'll love because there's so much you can do here. Um, and again, it is very different from other universities. And uh-oh, I think, oh, there we go. There's our Wildcat Willie. Um, we are the Wildcats. We were founded way back in 1914. So we've been the Wildcats way before Disney's High School Musical. Um, one of the ways we're different is that we actually have two campuses. Uh, one is in Providence, Rhode Island, and the other is in Charlotte, North Carolina. Both are beautiful city campuses. Um, Providence, that's up in New England, kind of near Boston. It's actually the creative capital. It's the capital of Rhode Island. So a lot of important things happen there. And a lot of artistic people are drawn to Providence. It's actually, they actually call it College Town USA because there are more college students per capita in Providence than any other US city. And then our campus in Charlotte, North Carolina, very easy to get to from the Hanover County area, just uh, uh, 95 South, 85 South, and boom, you're there. Charlotte um, is a very, very exciting city. It's the second largest financial district in the country. So anyone thinking about doing anything related to business, finance, accounting, marketing, it's an amazing place to be. Um, it's growing too all the time. And we do have, um, if you combine both campuses, we have about 6,500 students. Um, they come from all 50 states and more than 60 foreign countries. So there's a beautiful diversity at Johnson & Wales. Um, both campuses are very welcoming, very inclusive. Uh, one of the things that sets us apart is our faculty. They are phenomenal. All of them have incredible industry experience having done what they're teaching. And they're great teachers too. They, they really become your mentors. And the class sizes are small, so they get to know you well. We don't have any huge lecture halls that you see at some colleges. When you're in your major, you're gonna be in learning labs and they really simulate the real world, whether it's a, um, a business lab that you see up there on the top corner, it kind of looks like, looks like you're on Wall Street there. We have criminal justice majors doing um, fingerprint analysis down on the bottom there. Um, our food innovation and design lab is very cutting edge. And we have sports entertainment event management, which um, up in Providence, we have a relationship with Delaware North, like TD Garden. And then down in Charlotte, oh, again, um, whoops, there we go. In Charlotte, learning labs as well with our sports management majors. Our Charlotte campus, we're right in the heart of Uptown. Literally, you could toss a football from our freshman residence halls and hit Panther Stadium. It's that close. So um, we have relationships with the Panthers, with the Hornets, with NASCAR for our sports management students. You can see up in the top corner, fashion merchandising students. They're in class, but it looks like they're in a boutique. Um, with our culinary arts major, students get into sensory analysis. Not only are they working with food, but they're working with beverages, with wines, cocktail, teas, coffee, flavored waters, and they even have an organic garden. So again, Johnson & Wales, very hands-on is one of the things that um, sets us apart. In fact, our students have a thing, they call it clock shock. They're so absorbed and so into what they're doing in class, they don't realize any time has passed. And, and they're shocked when the clock says it's time to, to go on to their next class. Um, the other thing that's a big differentiator with us is that our students will jump right into their major in their freshman year. And that's different. Typically at most colleges, your first two years 
are all your general education classes and you don't get into your major until your junior year. But I love it at Johnson and Wales. If you're a fashion student, you'll be in fashion labs right off the bat. A baking pastry student will be in a baking and pastry lab. A biology student will be in biology labs all across the board with all of our majors. You will get into it in your first year. Of course, you still have to take the other general education requirements, but instead of being front loaded and, and making you feel like you're in grade 13, they're interwoven throughout. And then you start to see why, how everything really is connected. And um, the next week, I want to show you all the different majors we have. And unfortunately, my screen's not advancing, but we'll give it a second. Sometimes there's a little lag time. We do have over 50 different majors. Um, they cover the main fields of business, culinary arts, hospitality, engineering and design, health and wellness. And then we also have, um, if somebody's undecided, we have undeclared majors. We also have customized majors that you can design yourself. Um, and then we also have, a, you know, a good major if you're undecided too is liberal studies. That's a very broad-based foundation and that can lead to a lot of different careers. And hopefully I can move on, but if not, let's see here. You know what, I'm gonna stop my share just for a second and then try to jump back into it again. Let's see if this will work. Okay, well, I'll still keep on talking. I'm sorry that it's not advancing, but um, lots of different majors. And one of the things that I'm most proud about at Johnson & Wales, we have a 97.7% career outcomes rate. And what that means is that when our students graduate, almost all of them are doing what they wanna do, whether it's launching their careers or going on to grad school. Uh, let's see, we have a, a three plus three partnership for law school. You can get your law degree in a year less than it normally takes. Um, you can go on for an accelerated MBA. You could go on to medical school. We have a great graduate program in physician assistant. So, so many different exciting career options, but how we get that astounding 97.7% career outcomes, I think it's because we do things differently with jumping into your major right away, having the small classes and your faculty really getting to know you. But another thing that sets us apart is our internship program. Uh, at Johnson & Wales, our internship program is, that's where for a whole semester, instead of going to class, you're going to a real world employer. And we have internship sites all across the country. Some are near the campus. We have them in California, in New York City, also international as well. And our internships are phenomenal. Um, more than half of them pay, which is nice. But of course, even if you don't have a paying internship, you're getting that real world experience, you're networking, you're meeting the movers and shakers, uh, the people that have the careers you wanna have someday. And you know, it's like that old saying, it's not what you know, it's who you know. Well, I think you have to know your stuff, but then you've got to know the people who know you know your stuff. And, and that's what having an internship does. And it's exciting. Um, we're about three quarters of our students do a paid internship. They're offered full-time employment upon graduation, uh, which is ultimately what it's all about. You'll get a great education with us, but then it really sets you up for success afterwards. Um, so that's kind of the academic side of it, but we want you to have a happy, healthy social life too. And so at Johnson & Wales, oh, there's over a hundred different clubs and organizations for extracurricular. We've got fraternities, sororities, so many different clubs. Um, we also have athletics. Like I said, we're the Wildcats. We're NCAA Division Three with so many different sports. Um, and then in addition to the NCAA Division Three level, we've got just clubs, intramurals, pickup sports. You will never be bored here. You can do as much or as little as you want, but um, there's always something going on on campus at Johnson & Wales. And then you have beautiful cities, whether at Providence or Charlotte, you've got exciting happenings right at your doorstep here too. Now, um, as far as uh, applying for admission, just pick one campus um, and just choose one major. But the cool thing is um, if you're accepted, 
you're accepted to the entire university. So if you apply to Charlotte and then decide you want to go to Providence, just let us know. We can switch it. I've actually had some students who've gone two years to Charlotte because it was a little bit closer to home. And then they've done their junior and senior year in Providence. Um, with us, it's not even considered transferring because it is all one university. Um, so anyway, so to apply for admission, you can um, either do the Common App or our No Fee App. And what we look for in our applicants, um, as far as GPA, um, obviously the higher your grades, the better. But if you're about a C plus or higher student, I would encourage you to apply because um, it's not just the GPA we look at. We take a holistic approach. Um, we also understand that last year with the, with the pandemic and virtual school, a lot of students who had high grades, maybe didn't do as well in the virtual setting. So again, I don't like to give one hard and fast GPA. If, if you're interested in Johnson Wales, it's no fee app to apply. So it doesn't cost anything. Send us your transcripts and your application. Um, we also look at the kinds of classes you're taking, um, the academic rigor, uh, your extracurriculars. Um, so, and as far as SATs and ACTs go, we have long been test optional. I encourage you if you can take SATs or ACTs to do so. Um, however, with us, they're not required. And if you take them, your scores can only help you. They can't hurt you. Um, the reason we've been test optional for a long time, because of the experiential hands-on nature of our education, we just find that the standardized tests aren't the best indicator of how successful someone can be here. So um, as far as applying goes, we do have an early action decision. That means that if you submit your app and your transcripts by November 1st, it's non-binding, but you'll be in the first group of decisions that go out. You'll find out before Thanksgiving if you've been accepted and earned scholarships from us. After that, we just go into rolling admissions, and then March is the deadline for that. Um, but I would encourage you, there's still time to do early action, and it's kind of like the early bird gets the worm. And, and it's so nice to start finding out again about your acceptances and scholarships. Um, now, how to get scholarships with Johnson & Wales? Lots of different ways. We have it based on merit, so good grades can get you scholarships with us. We also have them based on extracurriculars. And for example, if you've ever been a member of a national student organization like DECA, FBLA, FCCLA, HOSA, TSA, Skills USA, um, all of those are scholarship avenues with us. Just check that on your application. And as long as you're accepted, you'll get a renewable scholarship for that. Of course, you all know scholarship is good. Renewable is even better because a renewable means that whatever the amount of the scholarship is, you'll get it every year for four years. Now, of course, you'll also want to do the FAFSA and list Johnson & Wales on your FAFSA so we can award you additional financial aid. We have one code for both Charlotte and Providence. It's 003404, um, again, because it's all one university, so only one FAFSA code. But because Providence is where we were, were founded, um, when you try to find Johnson & Wales on your FAFSA, you'll find us under Providence, Rhode Island, but that's still the same code to use for Charlotte, North Carolina. And again, both campuses are beautiful. We have great residential halls at both campuses and we require freshmen and sophomores to live on campus. Um, and then your junior and senior year, it's your option. You can live on or off. Um, now, of course, there are some exemptions, you know, if you have family within commuting distance or something like that. But generally, um, we find students love living on campus. Our dorms are beautiful. Um, in Charlotte, for example, it's suite style living. Um, each suite has its own private bathroom, and you get to pick your room and your roommates. Um, and we, we're actually one of the first colleges in the country to offer pet friendly dorms, too. So it's just a, a really fun, cool environment. And um, after today, I hope you will come visit. We're open for both in-person and virtual tours. So um, I'll, I'll share information with your counselors on how to do that. 
And let's see what's out. That's that's really pretty much us in a nutshell. Follow us on social media. Um, you know, we're all across the board on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all of that. And in addition to um, ways to come visit, you know, of course we have campus tours, but there are open houses, there are experience days that are geared to certain majors. So we hope you'll check us out, learn more about Johnson and Wales. And I'm going to stop sharing now and come back on. And what I'll do is I'll share with your counselors my contact information. Um, I mean it sincerely. If Johnson & Wales interests you, I would be my pleasure to assist you. Um, at Johnson & Wales, we feel that um, all of our students, we want you to get individual attention. And it starts right now at the application process. So um, I'll share that information with Ms. Corbin and Ms. Bolander. And um, hope you'll come visit us at Johnson & Wales. Go Wildcats! Thank you so much. That information is so helpful and you guys offer so many interesting programs. That is so great to know. And I might've missed this in your presentation, but when they're applying to the, the campuses, so are they applying to the university as a whole or they're applying to a specific campus? Excellent question. So just apply to one campus and whichever campus interests you and, and one major and um, make sure that that's where your transcript. So if you apply to the Charlotte campus, ask your counselor to send us your Charlotte, uh, send your transcripts to the Charlotte campus. Um, if all goes well and gets accept, if you get accepted though, should you change your mind, your acceptance is good at either location, but just apply to one campus and that's where your transcript should be sent. That's really good to know. Thank you so much for taking the time to be with us today. We really appreciate it. And students, we will make sure that we send out um, Ms. Farsi's information with you guys um, so you can reach out to her with any questions that you have and make sure you're utilizing her as a resource when you're working on your applications because she's here to help. Thank oh, thank you. you so much. I have to tell you, over the years, we've had so many great students from Hanover County Schools come to JWU. So we'd love to see the tradition continue. Wonderful, thank you.